Real Madrid midfielder Jude Bellingham is the best player in the world, his coach Carlo Ancelotti said Friday. I said it last time I was on it, he's the best football player in the world. <laughs> I don't know why people, why he's laughing for, what, Chris, why are you laughing for? A sure contender for the Ballon d'Or candidate if Real Madrid wins the UCL. The 20-year-old England international has taken La Liga and Champions League by storm since he arrived from Borussia Dortmund this summer. For a 103 million euros, I would say that even that much of a price seems to be a bargain for this phenomenal Englishman. Bellingham is the La Liga's joint top goal scorer with 18 goals and 9 assists in 27 appearances across all competitions. The shocking fact is he isn't even a striker. Although some people pointed out that, oh, he is a false nine, the heat map of his games tells a whole different story. He's done very well in the first half of the season, taking into account he is adapting to our club and to a new culture, a new language. Ancelotti told a news conference when asked if Bellingham was the best player in the world. As, uh, For us, obviously, he is the best. Bellingham scored a penalty and provided an assist against Almeria to make a thrilling comeback from 0-2 down. Assisting Carvajal in the very last minute to clinch the victory. This is not just one crucial move for him. In fact, he has scored more than seven times for making a comeback and assisting four times to save the La Liga Giants. Talk about being a clutch man, Jude is the name. But it's not the numbers that make him the best player, but something else. Let's talk about the real deal here. Is he anywhere close to being Ballon d'Or? Well, it depends. He sure and certainly certified himself as the best player in La Liga. Many would argue for Antoine Griezmann's case. But the fact that he is putting up those numbers as a midfielder is astonishing. Put it on to anyone. Your football is great. I mean, you're a mature 28. Yet. Oh, you're not 28. 20. Where are you? Only 20, mate. Oh, just good. added eight years to it. No, just, just saying that, that you look like a mature. Not only that, Bellingham may bring back the value of that coveted trophy, not just being reliant on goals and assists, rather to the actual contribution of the game. In an overall view, he seems to be a very good player when it comes to cutting the pass lanes of defenses and starting the counter on the high line. More than this, the way Ancelotti revived the old school 4-4-2 and 4-1-2-1-2 using Bellingham just proves how much managers can rely on him. There are many aspects of his games that go unnoticed, such as his progression when on the counter, the distribution and possession that he brings in the final third, and how he escapes the tight spaces. Apart from this, his defensive contribution and completeness as a player who can do it all can finally make a serious case of him being amongst the world's very best, if not the best. Real Madrid's impeccable recent form is a testament to how good Jude is. They have only lost twice this season, while both of those games being away ones at Metropolitano against Atletico Madrid. They have already won Spanish Super Cup, although got eliminated from Copa del Rey by the Derby rivals. There are high hopes from him for the upcoming UCL campaign. As he thunders his way up for Ballon d'Or power ranks, it is still to see if the Englishman continues to play at the level he has been playing. Whether he wins Ballon d'Or or not, he sure is the main man for Real Madrid as of now. If he stays in the blistering form he is right now, there are just a few players such as Kane, Mbappe, and Holland who can give him a tough competition. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on Jude being a door contender? Let's see if he lives up to the hype the same way he's been doing. But hey, subscribe, because there is a lot more to come, as we will bring up the story of this Real Madrid gem, Turkish Wonderkid. Coming up next.